Hey, we're back for more Phantom of Venice. I'm your Gibbs, and we are in Venice. Hey, there's a shocker. Uh, we just got off the phone with the lovely, I think it was Miss Rutherford, and uh, yeah, so it's time for us to go outside. I just happened to be walking through here, and the phone rang, so I thought, ah, uh, I might as well nab that phone while I can. Uh, and here's Mr. Intense. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to have to deal with him quite a bit. Uh, let's go outside here and, I don't know, we'll go for a little walk around. Uh, she's out here sunbathing like crazy. And how do I get down here? Wait, what? How do I... No, that's not what I want to do. Is this not the way to go? Ah... Uh, doesn't look like it. What am I... Missing. Uh, I don't think I can go that way. I probably should have maybe did a little bit more exploring in the last video. Let's see here. No, okay. Maybe I missed the entrance this way. So, so how do I get out of here? No. Hi there. Hello, Nancy. Do you live here at the car? No, I have a room in a building on the other side of the Grand Canal. A very small room. But I spend so much time here and so little time there, I suppose technically I do live here. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. What's his name? What's whose name? The bloke who gave you that locket you're wearing. Oh, Ned. Goodbye, Nancy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> How is that any of your business? All right. What? what where? How do I get out of here? I need to get down here. There's a doorway there. I could see it. Somebody's singing out there. All right. Let's see here. Can't go this way. Oh, we can go this way. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh my goodness. Shoot, I'm sorry. Here, I'll get those. Uh, letters. Chicago. You must be my newly arrived roommate. I'm Helena Berg. And I'm Nancy Drew. Sorry for all the commotion when I came in last night. My plane got in three hours late. No need to worry about waking me up. I can sleep through almost anything. Well, I'm sure you have things to do and places to go, so I won't keep you. Oh, by the way, there's a parcel for you in the entryway. Ciao. Ciao. All right, so that's Helena. Benka Del Oro, Ms. Nancy Drew. Please fl find and close your bank card. Okay. I like bank cards. Please visit there immediately to activate your account. Bruno, customer relations. Chalice of St. Gervas stolen from convent. Well, that's no good, is it? Nuns at the convent of St. Gervas awoke this morning to discover that the legendary jewel encrusted chalice of the saint after which they, their cov convent, convent was named was missing. Hmm. Interesting. Emeralds form a letter G on one side and a P on another. Alright, it's the Phantom Strikes Again. Okay, back up here. Ooh, there's water there. Alright, let's go. Wow! Oh my goodness, this is awesome! Where shall we go? Uh... What do these eyeballs mean? I probably should have paid more attention. To where that bank is. Oh, we'll go here. Oh. Cost money? Oh, I see. If we want music, we gotta pay money? Yeah, I'm cool. What about here? <laughs> That's awesome. I'll have to pay, obviously, at some point, but I need to earn some money here somehow. 
Oh, that's just walking, is it? Uh, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Academia. We're just walking here, are we? Well, where was I supposed to go here? Uh, let's have a look at our notes then. Phone numbers. Oh, we can call Ned. Huh. Oh, I should call Ned. Just because, you know what? It's time for us to call Ned. Oh, but I don't have a phone. I'd have to go back inside. Alright, well, Ned's gonna have to wait. I have no phone. I have no cell phone. What? What am I doing wrong here? How do I get out of this map? Ah, uh, help game. Why did it do that? So, how do I get out of this map? Oh, there's my outfit. <laughs> Nancy. Uh, I'm not even sure what to do here. Who's talking to me now? Oh, I have to click on it. Oh, okay, okay. This reminds me of that Twister game. Uh, what was that one called? Trail of the Twister or something like that? Okay, so now I'm back home. Alright, so I think what I can do here then is wait go here and then click it the second time right there we go Gibbs figured it out <gasps> cost me five dollars <laughs> or five euros that's like a lot of Canadian dollars I think that's like ten Canadian dollars for some pigeon f food or something Dang. 30 for that? Time to use my Italian dictionary. Alright, thank you. Sunflower, puppy. What do we need all this stuff for? Should I even. Like, it's 30 euros. Do I really need this? I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to that. I, I don't feel like spending it just yet. Uh, one year I'll see one year I can do actually you know what what are we out here is this translates carbon infusion oh oh shoot I just <laughs> I was trying to read it I wasn't trying to drink it oh Nancy you're silly oh Nance all right we are definitely gonna get ourselves some ice cream uh, I'll go for coconut mmm Let's see here. Oh yeah. Banana. How many can we do? Oh yeah, four is the way to go here. <laughs> All that for two euros? See, that's worth it. Pigeon feed for five euros. Not worth it. Alright, let's do another one. Uh, we're going this way. Oh, actually, yeah, it's just $2, I think. No matter how many scoops we have. Totally worth it. That was totally worth it. So, where do I go here? Got some flowers. I need to translate this. Okay, relax. I got it. We buy flowers. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have any to sell. So, where do I go from here? Uh... That's weird. Hmm. I hear people, but I don't know. Oh, what's this? I need to translate this. Really? Okay. Recycling. Huh. So how do I? Is this all I can do here? 
that takes me there, that takes me to there, I guess we go back then. Where's the other eyeball? Let's go here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go here first. Uh, we're gonna eventually invest in some music, that's for sure. Okay, so what do we have here? Ooh, more pigeon food. Teen magazine. 20 euros? For what? For a book, I'm guessing. Yikes. Okay, I think we'll pass on that for now. More bird or pigeon food or whatever. There's our bunk. I need my Italian dictionary. I don't need it. I know what that is. That's our bank. Bank of gold. Well, that's kind of cool. I'll just carry this thing around. Translate for me. Oh, wow. Hi, security camera. I need a card. Oh, it's got all sorts of uh, languages here. I have a card. Bunkle del Oro. Welcome, Nancy Drew. Wow, this is kind of a cool cloak and dagger way to go about this. Instructions. Case instructions. After you read this, you will be provided with a pair of binoculars and a PDA. Mm -hmm. Using the binoculars, you will watch an Antonio Fango, a suspect in the recent thefts attributed to the Phantom. The window of his office is in the Argonne building. Campo, I should probably write some of this down. <laughs> Just the places I need to go to. And I'm gonna need a fresh piece of paper here. Okay, so let's see. Campo de Freira. That's Argonne. Okay. Can be clearly seen from the rooftop of Canas Costa. The surveillance team at the entrance to the Aragon building will page you via the PDA whenever Fango enters. An audio signal will be alert you to the arrival. A light on the PDA will remain as long as he is in the building. Interesting. Uh, should be reported immediately using the PDA. Press the call button on the PDA keypad to reach your contact. Detective Sophia Leporans. Background on Antonio Dimitris Fango. Uh, kicked out of for cheating, moved to Venice, custom design, installed communication and entertainment systems for homes and businesses throughout his company. He is the sole employee. Alright, so he's our number one suspect. Got it. But he has no criminal record. Ooh, hello. I guess we're done. Oh, we have a PDA. Yay. Oh, looks like, like we can call now. Ciao, this is Nancy Drew. Yes, is this Detective Leporace? Si, but please, to you I am just Sophia. I'll remember that, Sophia. Why do you call? Can I be watching Fongo? He's not in his office. I know, I just wanted to make sure this PDA thing works. It is from the GDAF. Military equipment is good. But you are smart to test it, Nancy. And you are good to help us. We are very short-handed. Carnevale keeps the police very busy. I just hope I can help. Remember, when you have seen Fongo do something of interest, call me. Ciao. Ciao. Messages, track, okay. I guess we're done? Wait. So what's the deal here? Did I lose my... No, I still have my bank card. Crime dossier. Hmm. Summary of crimes attributed to the Phantom. Successfully disabling of complex alarm systems and lack of crime scene evidence make these thefts similar to those committed by... Hmm. So, 4th of January, 18th of January. Wow, they're quite regular. Yeah, we read about that one in the newspaper. Hmm. Okay pick up. I don't know what we're going to be picking up, but I guess we'll have to pick up something later. So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm good for f bird food now. Uh, let's go here. 
So we gotta go there. Campo de Frera. Okay, the eyeballs are definitely helping me out. Thank you, game, for putting those in there. Oh, I got a bit of a journey here. Uh, I'll go here. I'm gonna eventually have to call my boyfriend, Ned. Argon building. Hey there. Looks like I'm going to have to pick this lock somehow. I do not have the ability to pick locks. No. Okay, so... Wait. So there's nowhere else to go here? It said something about the... Where was it? Costa. But I don't even see that on the map. Hmm. Uh, I don't see that on the map. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna go back here, I think. I wanna go back to that bookstore. It just occurred to me, I wonder if there's an actual German book in there. Like a translator book? Let's go have a peek. I only wasted 10 euros. I got lots to spend. Uh, how do I even know what I'm looking at here? Oh, hello. You're beautiful. What's this for? Sassy detective? Aw, fans. Exclusive Q&A with Canada's hottest girl sleuth. Oh, well, I have to buy that. I mean, it's got Canada in it. <laughs> Anything else I can buy in here? I want to buy it all. Uh, come on, there's got to be something else in here. Where is it? Where is something that I can buy? Oh, I don't see it in anything else here. Wait, what is this over here? Is this like film or something? I could go for some new sunglasses too. Why won't it let me have sunglasses? Hmm. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay, something just occurred to me. Isn't the Nacosta where I'm staying? Yeah, shoot. And it's, of course, right off opposite of us. I could probably go to my balcony. And watch. And you know what? I can go and call my boyfriend. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll skip over to here. Because I think I can use my binoculars, maybe, from my balcony. And then... I will use my phone. It's my pager. Antonio Fongo is in his office. Time to go to work. Okay. So what does that even mean? Time to go to work. I think I have to go to the balcony, I assume. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. They're right, right off the edge here. So, where am I looking? I have no idea. Oops. Unless I have to go off of the other spot. Eh. You know what? Too bad. I'll work and no play, right? Nancy needs to uh, make a phone call. Come on, Nancy. Put those things away. There we go. We got important things to take care of here. Once I find the phone. <laughs> Oh, I can even translate her stuff, too. Ha-ha! Alright, Ned. Ned! Phone numbers. Wow. Zero?
Oh, I screwed up the phone number. Okay, that's fine. Give me control back. There we go. That's the country code, I guess, for the USA. All right, Ned, talk to me. Hello? Hi, Ned. Or should I say, buongiorno? Hey, Ned. I was hoping you'd call. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Sort of. I mean, I'm in Bayport, staying at Frank and Joe's, just like you arranged. You sound funny. What's wrong? My research is going great. It's just that... Well, in order to get over to the hospital library, I've been having to take the bus. What happened to your car? Joe happened to my car. Oh, no. He's been tinkering with it? If by tinkering you mean disassembling the engine and possibly the transmission and strewing the parts all over that <laughs> closet in the basement he calls his workshop, yes, he's been tinkering with it. Ned, I told you. I said whatever you do, don't let Joe do any tinkering. I, I didn't know that's what you meant. He said he knew exactly how to fix that funny noise my car's been making, so I said, great. I thought he knew what he was doing. He does know what he's doing. It's just gonna take him like half a century to do it. But hey, you're taking mass transit. That's good. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. And I'm sure my car will be fine, too. So how's it going there? Hey, before I forget, thanks again for the locket. I haven't taken it off since you put it on me there at the airport. Aww. Good. That was kind of the idea. I just wanted you to have a little reminder of home. Well, more specifically, of me. I don't need any reminders, Ned, but thank you. It really is beautiful. Even the guy I sat next to on the plane over here who played solitaire the whole way liked it. It passed the semi-neurotic but otherwise thoroughly impartial geek test? Yes! <laughs> okay. Want to know what my assignment is? You bet. I'm supposed to do surveillance on a guy named Antonio Fongo. Surveillance? Wow. The GDIF and the local police suspect he has something to do with the thefts being attributed to the Phantom. They're going to page me every time they see him go into his office, so I can watch him through binoculars from the roof of the place where I'm staying, and report in if he does anything suspicious. They want you to spy on someone through binoculars? Yes, I get to do some real surveillance work. Pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, exciting and not too dangerous. You like that, don't you? You bet I do. Okay. Margarita Fulberg, the woman who owns the place where I'm staying, is a little strange. How so? Uh... She spends most of her time on the roof, sunbathing. Sunbathing? It's winter there, isn't it? Exactly. Although I must admit, it is unseasonably warm out. Then maybe she's not so strange. It just bothers me that whenever I need to do surveillance on Fongo from the roof, she's up there too. While I'm watching him, she could be watching me. Mm -hmm. Relax. I'm sure the GDIF checked her out before they okayed your staying there. <laughs> Foreshadowing right there, folks. Alright, well this is where we're going to sign off. We're going to say time to go play detective. Time to go play detective. Tell Joe I said hi, okay? I'll let him know you called and tell him what you've been doing. Take care. Bye. And bye to all of you. Thank you all for watching Nancy Drew. We'll see you next time.